Hi there. Welcome to App Drops. If you're wondering about all of the cool new tools you can use in Webflow, stick around. You're in the right place. I'm Vic from the developer relations team, and every month I'll be your guide to the most exciting apps that can supercharge your Webflow projects. This month is extra special because we're exploring AI-powered apps. I've got two amazing apps to show you. First up is Clay. Imagine having an AI assistant that not only finds the perfect leads for you, but then automatically adds them to the Webflow CMS. And wait until you see Flowblock. It's like having an AI coding buddy right inside of Webflow. If you need a bit of help writing custom code, this app has your back. Ready to see these in action? Let's dive into the demos and I'll show you exactly how they work. For our first demo, we're going to create dynamic landing pages using data in our CMS that's been enriched from Clay. So Clay is an AI tool that allows you to get a list of leads and enrich them with AI. You can do all sorts of things like get logos, email addresses, and route them with logic, including sending to Webflow. So we're starting out in Clay, and I've got this list called Laundry List. And in it, I have uh, different laundromats that I found uh, in the New York area. And it was able to get the name, it was able to get the Google Maps URL, all this great stuff from all of the integrations they have. And then I was able to do some transformations on my table. So I was able to uh, create a slug that we're going to use. I was able to get the city and state. And then some really cool things here is I've asked Clay to go ahead and find the logo from uh, the website. And then I've also asked it to get a list of services that that, that provider may uh, have for our users. Then uh, for the Webflow step, what I can do is I can go to add column and then say add enrichment. And then from here, I'll type in Webflow. And you can see the different uh, things available to you. You can create a collection item, you can get a collection item, or you can update a collection item. We're going to create a collection item. And from here, it'll ask you to select your Webflow account or if you haven't logged in, it'll ask you to log in by adding an account. Then it'll ask you to configure. So the first thing you need is the site. So I'll add the site. Then it'll ask for the collection. I've already created a collection called Dry Cleaners. And you can see here that it pulls in all of the fields that we need. So I'll make sure that these are created in draft. And the first thing I'll create is use his name. You can say backslash and then use the name. Uh, I can use my slug field that I created using formulas. So I think this is really important to call out. Uh, here, I created a slug field. I'll close this for a moment. Um, we'll save the changes actually. But uh, here, I created a slug field and this wasn't working until I did this. So what I did was I transformed the name here to lowercase and then replaced this with a slash. And what's really cool about Clay is I didn't need to know all of that formula. I was just able to use AI and say, hey, please transform the text to lowercase. And it did it itself. So that was pretty great. That we have our slug, let's go back and finish setting up our Webflow integration. So let's right click on our column, click edit column, and then continue filling out the fields. So here we have a logo field. So I'll go ahead and add the logo URL. Um, I updated with city and state here. And then one thing that I liked is that I was able to uh, use Clay again to go look on the website and find a list of services. So find a list of garment services. I probably could put this in one uh, clay agent thing now that I think about it, but let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and say services and we'll get this. And one thing that I think is really cool is saying only run if certain conditions are met. So down here I've added only run if the logo actually got the logo URL and then also run if we only have, if we have a response from garment maintenance services. So I'll save that and I won't run it. And then we'll do a couple tests. So I will test the first three. And you'll see now that this is queued and it's looking for information and I'll give it back to us once it's finished. So my data has loaded and I got some, this little triangle means that it's not really confident or it's medium confident in the services that it has, uh, which I find to be a really cool indicator. And then it went ahead and uh, translated that into text as well as then created the collection item. So let's go ahead in Webflow and see what that looks like. So here in our collections, we have uh, the different collection items. We can see the logo that was added, the information, the services offered. So let's what, see what that looks like in our template. So here we have Laundry Warehouse, uh, style of the most fashionable people in Belleville, New Jersey. 
Uh, this is pretty cool. We have the logo here and we see that they offer wash and fold. So what you can offer for your amazing closet subscribers, wash and fold. Uh, here we have Jeeves. Jeeves had a little SVG, so we might need to change this. If we look into our collection item, we can see this is a SVG and it's also white. So we might want to do some create some rules there in clay about uh, what should be created or uh, change our styles around if uh, we want to be more inclusive to all logos. So then we can see here the services, Jeeves is the New York, and the last one, Sonic Suds. I really like this logo. Um, we have Sonic Suds Laundry at Rutherford, and we can go ahead and see what they offer. Um, some of the text might not have come in the way we expected it to, but that's fine. We can update this here as we review. Uh, so we'll go ahead and update that text. And I think this is really cool because it does most of the heavy lifting. You don't want to just rubber stamp a bunch of sites, but you do want to be able to say like, let's take care of the data information from one to another, uh, which, in which includes uh, a list of leads that we already have. Uh, and we can create customized experiences for them, take it to the next level. Who else is doing this? So this is pretty great. Uh, so go ahead, jump into Clay, authenticate with Webflow and start seeing what collection items you can create, whether they're for businesses, whether they're for certain people, uh, this is an excellent uh, use of the CMS, and I'm really excited to see what people do with it. So for this demo, we're going to be coding in Webflow, but we're going to use AI to help us do it. Using Flowblock, uh, a code editor that also uses AI, we can uh, create JavaScript and CSS files, but we can also ask an AI assistant to help us with what we want to accomplish. So I'll jump into the JavaScript file, close it really quickly, and then ask the AI assistant to help me uh, for my element with the data GSAP target uh, hero text attribute, please create a GSAP animation that swipes in from the left and unblurs the text over two seconds. So it'll generate uh, this code and it will have GSAP code in there. And it'll also tell me that I need to go add these uh, two scripts to my page settings. So I'll do that. Then it shows me the code. And one thing I can do here is save it and then go over to my files. Uh, I'll rename this really quickly to GSAP Hero Animation and uh, copy the script embed, which is not the whole script that we have here, but is actually the script which is saved to a CDN. And this is really great because as I make changes, I don't have to keep repasting the script. I can actually just make the changes and see them uh, reflect in the site. So I'll save this by pressing Control S. Uh, it's uploaded to staging. We'll uh, publish this. So now it'll have all the scripts. Open up our site and we see we have this lovely animation here. So I can come back here and if I wanted to, I can now edit the code that's been given. So I can say maybe make this duration one second, save this and uh, it's uploaded to staging. So I don't need to make any changes. I can make this faster very quickly. I think this is a great tool for anyone who wants to get started adding custom code to Webflow. Uh, additionally, if you add a JavaScript file, you can also add it. So let's call this hello world. You can also add this uh, as a code block. So you'll see it here. I would recommend this for something really small. Again, uh, Webflow uh, sanitizes your code. So you might want to uh, check this. Uh, but if you have something longer, especially something with comments, you'll want to use the kind of built-in CDN that it has. Uh, there's also pricing here. Uh, there's pretty generous free mode as well as a really good pricing for dev and pro. So check this out to start coding in Webflow with AI. Before we wrap up, here are a few more apps worth exploring this month. IFTT and Zoho Flow, two popular automation tools that integrate with Webflow and automate workflows. ReviewsJet, Display reviews from Google, Yelp, Trustpilot, and more right on your Webflow site. And ShipStation. Take control of your order management and shipping, especially if you're selling on multiple channels. Check them out in the Webflow Marketplace. All right, that's a wrap for this month's AI App Drop. Now, I told you this month was special, but not just because we're exploring the power of AI in Webflow apps. I am thrilled to share that there are now over 300 apps for Webflow in the marketplace to help you work faster and connect with the tools you use every day. From enterprise grade platforms like Microsoft, Adobe, and HubSpot to specialized apps for Webflow users by Webflow users. Woo boo, I am not sure about that, but 
Apps like Better Shadows, Form Connector, and Slater are amazing tools for designers, and we're so grateful to our developer community for the time and the care that they put into these apps. If you've got an idea for the next great Webflow app, reach out in the comments. Our DevRel team is here to get you started turning those ideas into reality. Now, if you're ready to take these apps for a spin, click the links in the description below or open the apps panel in your sidebar to search for what you need. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.